Morning all. Now I thought you might be interested in a little bit of fraud. So um, I think this one's important enough to do a little quick vid about it and tell you about it because some of you, absolutely some of you, are going to get caught up in this. They tried to catch me on it over the weekend. Right, so first of all, most of you, if not all of you, have heard of Hatton Gardens. Hatton Gardens in London. It is the silver and gold place. It is the place going back, I don't know how many years, 100 years, maybe even longer, maybe less, whatever. It is the place for jewellery, Hatton Garden, right? You've heard of the Hatton Garden job and peat robberies and all that kind of thing. Okay. So now there is also a company called Hattons of London. H-A-T-T-O-N-S, Hattons of London. And they are a very well respected, very well respected uh, business in the coin community, right? You're not talking low level coins here. You're not talking your change checker stuff, right? You're not talking your low level. You're talking some expensive gear. Now, over the weekend, I came across a competition and that competition was for Hattons of London to win this set of coins that included, some of you might have seen it, a, it included a 1972 silver coin. This 239 package of coins, whatever it is. I entered the competition. Ooh, I got Messenger telling me I'd won. Yeah. I won a £250 set of coins. Yeah. I'm going to put them up in a raffle for you. I don't want them. So then they give me the link by messenger, tell me I've got to go and register on their site. So I go over to their site to register. I think, well, that's fair enough. You know, that's that's, that's right. That's, that's within the realms. That's what they would want you to do if you've won a prize, register. Not everybody does, though. I mean, reg to register, to get you to register once you've won a prize is a little bit naughty, but it's borderline. As long as you're not taking any money off someone, right? then I suppose you could get them to register in order to collect their prize. Mm, you know, however. Um, but when you do a giveaway, like on Facebook, and you go, oh, like, share, comment, and we're going to pick a winner, and you pick that winner, you can't legally ask that person to go and register. You've picked a winner. That's it. That, one, that's a per that person's won. Send them the goods. That's it. There is no, trust me on this, there is no at all, not even like that, there is no got to get people to register. If you give something away and you haven't said you've got to register, then you give it away. Now, they want me to register, so I'll go over to register. All right then. Then they want my card details. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Now I know you're pulling one. I don't have to go any further. I know you're pulling one, so I reply back to them. And you can see my conversation because it is coming up next, okay? So I've done the conversation with them on Messenger and I told them, this is fraud, this is against the law, and you are not Hattons. You are not Hattons of London. Now, this company, if you've entered this competition, let me be very clear on this, it is not Hattons of London. The well-respected coin company, Hattons of London, this competition, it's not them. It is not them. Look at the name on the Facebook. Hattons of London is spelt H-A-T-1-T-O-N-S. Fraud. That is absolute fraud. The real Hattons of London is H-A-T-T-O-N-S. And if you look at this Facebook profile of Hattons, H-A-1-T-O-N-S, you will see they use photographs of the real Hattons logos and the real Hattons name. Right? It is a fraud. It is a con. They're trying to get your card details so that they can fleece the arse out of you. And this is happening right now, right this weekend. And some of you have already been duped. I'm telling you, some of you have already been duped. I know you. I know my little coin community to a point where you see some, you see these competitions, you're going to be entering them. And some of you ain't going to get caught. You're going to be a bit like me. You're going to be a little bit old, old in a two for all that. But some of you, some of you are going to get caught up line and sinker. If you have uh, answered these people and you have registered on their site and you have put your card details in, 
my honest advice to you immediately is to phone your bank, tell them your card, your card is now, uh, what's the word? Compromised. Your card has been compromised over the weekend and you want a new card with a new number. So that the card that you have got now is automatically blocked from today, right? Don't just think you won't use them and keep the card, don't do that. Stop the card. If you if you registered with them and you uh, 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 over this pretending win, please, please, please get in touch with the bank. Stop your card right now. Tell them it's been compromised over the weekend. You'd like a new card. Once they send you a new card, it's got a new card number. Even if you got caught with that and you filled it in, they won't be able to rob any money off you. But you must get your card stopped and you must get it stopped today. So any of my people out there, anybody watching these videos, anybody at all, if you've entered this competition, it is a massive, massive fraud and it is not Hattons of London. I can absolutely assure you it's not Hattons of London. I've spoken to Hattons of London this morning. I've let them know they are aware of it. They will be speaking to Facebook, but that doesn't stop any of you that have already been caught. You got me? So if you've been caught by this mob, get your card cancelled today before you do anything else whatsoever, get your card cancelled. If you ever enter a competition, ever, ever, without exception this is, right? If you ever enter a competition and somebody wants you to register and then give your card details, that competition is a fraud. Take it from me. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter what the prize is. It doesn't matter what country it is. It doesn't matter. If they want card details, in order to give you a prize that you have won, it is a fraud. Get out of there as fast as you can. And if you've given them your credit card details and you've put it in, debit card or credit card, you need to cancel it. There's a very important thing with credit cards, right? If you get screwed on a credit card, you're absolutely guaranteed to get the money back. You give somebody your debit card number and they take money out of your bank account that is not covered. That is not covered. It's really important, people, you know, you should know that, right? Debit card, not covered. Credit card, covered. Any expense on a credit card, covered. You buy something on a credit card and don't receive it, the credit card company have to, by law, give you your money back. Debit card, they do not. Money comes direct out of your bank account, it's gone forever. And the bank sees it that you shouldn't have been stupid enough to give your card details out in the first place. Remember, I got done last year, uh, last year, the year before, when I went to the Mint. Right? So, really important, if you've had anything to do with this, cancel your card. Now have a look at this uh, message and you'll see. You'll see who they are as well. I thought you might appreciate this. And then... And then you can see the... Uh, the uh, conversation I had with them. So that's then what they sent me. And then now you see that I've started to question that. But they still carry on and try and get it. Just for verification, they say, to say that you really are a winner on their site. The bastards. Like you need this, not a hole in the head. Miss the opportunity, yeah. And there you go, and that's where it finished. And they didn't call me.